good morning from Central Washington. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Cheers. Cheers. When it comes to balancing a 9 to 5, most of the trips that I go on are weekends only. Aside from vacation time, of course. Though for this trip, David and I headed out on a Friday evening and searched for a great weekend within Central Washington. As many of you know or may have seen, there is a new vehicle in the lineup. Making its first debut trip is the all-new 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee. While I won't go into full detail just yet, I am excited to try out the new platform in a familiar area and with great company. Come here, Charlie. Nice. Come here, bud. Come on. Good morning from Central Washington. Um, David and I from Off the Grind, we are out here on a beautiful spring-like day of 60 degrees and sunshine, and I am debuting the trip for my brand new vehicle of the 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk model and the 4XE platform. And basically what that all means is it's a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid SUV. So reason for the change for myself real quickly is that it basically complements both lifestyles of the weekend warrior as well as a daily commuter for the 9 to 5 Monday through Friday um, and it works for me I can kind of use the EV fashion for uh, the the daily work as well as have a nice extended range for exploring on the weekends and best of all it just suited my lifestyle overall um, so this trip is kind of getting me kind of re-geared in a fashion as far as uh, managing all the gear and equipment while doing it on a awesome beautiful weekend like this so very happy for that but um, I'll be doing a future video as far as all the details and ins and outs but really this video is just going to be more of uh, just getting back out and getting into the swing of things I, I really kind of took a personal break if you will after our big trip in Alaska um, last September Camp Chef Mom and I we did a two-week trip up in Alaska at the beginning of September and it was amazing uh, we hit all kinds of areas and we checked off a lot of boxes for all the right reasons and even along the way hit some personal milestones of uh, hitting over 200,000 views on a video as well as reaching 20,000 subscribers on YouTube so I am sincerely blown away by all your guys' support so thank you so much uh, but really with this video is just for me to kind of get back into things and just really showcase the brand new setup as well as just enjoy a beautiful weekend here in the larger Pacific Northwest and I wanted to bring you guys along the way so um, it's nice to kind of get back into the routine of things and really it was uh, having a, a break was very helpful not only for myself but also just hitting the reset button on a lot of things for me so getting back out here and being in good company uh, makes the kind of the re-entry if you will uh, very very nice 
So looking forward to seeing where this weekend takes us. We're probably just gonna be um, exploring in the general central Washington area this weekend, just outside of Vantage. Um, so we'll see what happens, but if anything, it is a beautiful weekend to get out and I'm very excited to bring you guys along. So let's see where the day and weekend takes us. While I'm sure the comment section is already blowing up on the new vehicle choice, the fact of the matter is I absolutely love this new Jeep. One of the many features leading to this new vehicle change was the overall range it offers. Being a hybrid SUV, it can drive up to 500 miles, in ideal conditions of course, on a full charge and tank of gas, which allows me to explore much further on the back roads here in the Pacific Northwest. This alone led to many small jokes between David and I, as we made our first stop at the gas station to top off the Thirsty Bronco. After staying advantage the night prior, we decided to push about two hours north to a familiar area. The landscape views along the way were simply incredible. This is one of the many reasons I love living in the Pacific Northwest. From the rainforest, snow-capped mountains, desert, and everything in between, you can see it all no matter which direction you drive. The initial road heading into this area is relatively tame. What makes it unique are the dramatic canyon views on both sides as you drive in, making for a great opportunity to stop, snap some photos, and perhaps even time it just right to witness sunrise or sunset. While there are numerous roads navigating you through this section, only a couple that aren't washed out allow a 4x4 to pass. With that in mind, both David and I decided to take on a rather steep hill section that would lead us down and continuing our search for a suitable campsite later in the evening. Of course, nothing looks the same on camera as it does in person, and this hill certainly brought on a second guess due to the potential of sliding off trail. Though with encouraging each other on, we simply went for it. Looking good, looking good. Nice and straight. And then start to go passenger. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs>
hold that line. Go driver a little. Straight. Go driver a little bit more. There you go. For being just shy of a 31 inch tall tire on stock treads, I'd say the Jeep held its own even with the slip and slide that occurred. I'm certain there would be a relative difference for swapping out to a better suited all-terrain tire down the road and how the performance will increase. What I am thankful for is the Jeep being equipped with an airlift suspension, allowing me to raise up to nearly 11 inches of ground clearance simply with the flick of a button. After a long day behind the wheel, it wasn't soon after until we decided on a campsite for the evening. Due to the tent now being on top of the vehicle versus in the bed of the truck like before, my height challenge self now needs a step stool to open and close the tent. This will help avoid climbing all over the door jams and honestly takes up little to no room for storage. I figured to call it out now before everyone else does. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Cheers. Cheers. Great day on the trail. Great day. So overall today was fantastic. It was great to get the Jeep out on the trails and see what it could do. I'd say one of my favorite features so far that proved its point today was the airlift suspension. Um, with toggling a button on the inside of the cabin, the Jeep can actually uh, raise up automatically uh, with given its ground clearance at its maximum height of just shy of 11 inches, which is incredible. So today proved its abilities on being able to clear some of the obstacles and keep up with uh, the Bronco to a certain degree. Um, but really it's, it's nice to just get it out and try it out and see uh, what it's capable of and some limitations but overall it handled just fine and I'm very very happy with uh, how it performed overall. Um, but we found camp for the evening, we're kind of tucked in between a couple canyons. The sun is, is dipping and it's definitely getting windier and colder so we're going to get a fire going and dinner shortly thereafter. Um, but overall, it's a fantastic weekend. It's just great to get out of the house, explore some areas that I've been to before, and kind of showcase to David a first for him, and just enjoy it. This is what it's all about, just getting out and having fun, uh, no matter what you drive, and just, you know, exploring the scenery. It is a beautiful weekend here in the Pacific Northwest, aside from the wind that you're probably hearing right now. Uh, but it's fantastic and I'm so happy that um, I'm able to get out here and do this and just really kind of relive some of these moments but in a brand new setup and brand new vehicle so I know in the coming weeks I definitely have a little bit of a learning curve ahead of me as far as just kind of gear management and organization and trying to get used to what I used to have with the truck to now kind of definitely uh, minimizing and consolidating some of that setup in an SUV platform which of course by nature is, is a little bit smaller um, but so far so good and I'm very happy with the overall setup uh, but more importantly the weekend itself is just amazing so uh, we're gonna get a fire started dinner shortly thereafter of course a nice little drink to cap off the weekend and uh, enjoy our time from there so cheers
That's a good cup of coffee. I'm glad I made it this morning. <laughs> With the chilly night of camping behind us, we packed up and began working our way home. It's trips like this that bring the reason of why I get out. Being in great company, exploring new areas, and pushing beyond your comfort zone. No matter what vehicle you drive or gear you own, as long as you're getting out, that's all that matters. Until next time, safe travels.